So here we go with our main ingredients. We're using four fillet of shosaba or a Japanese mackerel. So we're going to take it out on the packaging or washed. All we need to do is to give a gentle rinse using the top water and avoid overwashed to save the natural flavor of the saba or the mackerel. So let's go through with the other ingredients, the seasonings. So we're using a miso paste, it's either red or white, it should be fine. And soya sauce, I'm using a less salt. And we have here a mirin. You can substitute with sake if mirin is not available. And we're using a ginger. To continue with our fish, gently brush on your fingertips to feel whether there is any bones left. So, in order to let the fish easier to cook, let's just make a scars, crisscross the slant, and also it helps to let the flavor go in deeper or penetrate deeper and make an extra flavor to our dish. And of course, it will give a beautiful, natural beauty after cooking. You can find it out after. All we need to do is a narrow slit, not too deep, or else it will get break during the cooking process. Okay, so let's try our fish using kitchen paper towel before added seasoning to reduce extra liquid inside our saba fish. This should be dry enough, I guess. So let's proceed to the next step. How to make homemade teriyaki sauce. Let's start with our size sauce, 25 ml. And I'm combining one tablespoon of mirin, or you can use sake if mirin is not available as i mentioned before and i'm combining two tablespoon of miso you can use white or a red should be fine and to remind you guys soy sauce and miso itself are already uh, salty enough so watch out for the level and try to control I'm adding dash of black pepper powder. So let's go. We just mix well until the miso paste completely dissolve. So this is now our teriyaki sauce homemade. Now it's ready to use. We just cut it all over the saba using brush. And if brush is not available, just pour it on the top. Mix with your hands, but make sure it's clean, of course. As long it's coating all over, as long that it's spread all over your fish, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's make sure that all our saba is filled with our teriyaki sauce and of course don't forget to add one tablespoon of grated ginger so I just cut into half and I'm using the garlic presser to extract or to mince the ginger and absolutely perfect, I like it because it's more handy and easier to use. Okay, so here we go. So 
So I just scrap it with a knife. Okay, so we just spread it all over. Make sure all over the fish is fully coated. Mmm. It's absolutely smell good. Okay. So let's just cover with a plastic wrap and set aside for 10 to 15 minutes in refrigerator. Okay, it's time to cook. So we just turn around one more time to let the fish meat relax before cooking. Yeah, you hear it right, to relax. Okay, so leave it there in here. It's all done. So I'm going to wipe this pan using a kitchen paper towel to remove the burns residues. And I'm uh, going to soothe or stir fry these um, onions. So I'm adding a one tablespoon of oil on it and stir fry. This used for garnishing, and it also give an extra flavor. Okay, so just now I have the leftover of the sauce, the teriyaki sauce, the mixture of teriyaki sauce, so I'm adding it. So we don't have to cook so much, we just want it to be just nice and crunchy. ready we just put on top as a toppings 
together with other garnishing. Okay, so here we go. And I'm adding on top of some of these dried nori and some spring onions on it and of course this uh, sesame seed okay it's very perfect and it's beautiful with the crisscrossed pattern And here we go with our pan seared saba or shio saba or Japanese mackerel with miso and homemade teriyaki sauce. Hope you enjoy!